it looks to me that that what we saw or what we have seen in the past years especially in the beginning of this uh, republic and the fourth republic is the fact that you see the dominance of state governance in the affairs of the party uh, it looks to me now that the governor's caucus uh, has taken over and has uh, now uh, decided where the party is headed because when the president said it he doesn't regard the party was divided but now when the governors has resolved it uh, it looks that they're having a headway is the party is the apc looking like uh, 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 a twin of the pdp in this regard definitely if you look at our political system the governors actually they control over the state no matter how you think about it so definitely you must do it with the governors and there is no way you can jump the governors this time around and if you look at it from the beginning they had only two governors that went against the uh, the, the, the neck uh, resolution but now the uh, the beauty of it they are coming together to discuss it maybe someday sometimes maybe when we move forward we'll have a situation where the governors too can just come and align with whatever maybe the populace or the members of the party, as it is now. I think APC, they have almost 12 million registered members. And these 12 million registered members, how are they going to mobilize them so that they can come to the uh, party congresses from world level to uh, local government level to state level so that it will be peaceful? And if they like, they may choose to stagnate it, maybe be so, that, uh, so as to have peace or so as to monitor properly because there are some people uh, uh, in the state that are not in a, uh, uh, let's say in peace or in agreement with state governors. They feel, they, they may feel that the state governors may disenfranchise them. So those people actually, you see a lot of things. So APC must constitute a committee that will manage post conventions crisis. Definitely, if they want to succeed. Let me, because of your understanding of uh, uh, parliamentary politics, let me quickly take your view on this. Because today the president has approved the purchase of military hardware worth one billion U.S. dollars for the use of the armed forces. President Muhammad Buhari gave the approval during a meeting with chiefs of the armed services and the minister of defense at the presidential villa in Abuja. Details were offered by the Minister of Defense, Mansour Dan Ali, when he spoke to State House correspondents after the meeting. Okay, so that is the initial one being Oh, that is the initial one. Not another one. Okay. In 30 seconds, uh, Professor Medana, what are your views on what the president has done? There's been a lot of controversy over whether or not the executive can uh, unilaterally approve money from the excess crude account. But excess crude account isn't something that is provided in the Constitution, is it? Is there a constitutional crisis in all of this? I think I, what we are missing in Nigeria is the issue of uh, lobbying. Lobbying... Some people misunderstood what lobbying is all about. It's, it's just a consultation. If you look at it, actually, section, uh, I think, uh, section 80 of the Constitution uh, uh, specify how funds will be spent. So what the APC should do, because they control both the Senate and the House of Representatives, is they, for the president to call the leadership of both chambers, inform them, uh, do consultation. I don't know whether there is that consultation before this approval. I don't know about that. But actually, All I right. think they should consult each other so that they can come and rectify whatever maybe uh, right. uh, uh, approval was given. Professor Ustiju Medana, political uh, strategies. Thank you for your time on the program. We we'll take a break, but when we come back, we we'll dig into the legality of what the president had done today. One billion U.S. dollars. That's how much will be spent on procuring arms. Already, some governors have started talking about this. That's next on the program, everyone. Join us again.